if you enjoy card tricks, I, I don't like to brag, but I think I know about every card trick that's ever been invented. The only card trick that I, I don't know, actually, is how to get the cards back in that box. That's the only one I don't know. I never figured out how to do that. But outside of that, I know about every card trick there is. I'm going to ask a, a gentleman here to take a card out and, and look at it. Just take one out, look at it, remember it, show it to the camera there so everybody can see it. Now, you could have picked any of these, right? Right. Put it back. In fact, we'll let you put it any place. Don't even touch the cards. I have these special glasses I picked up in Las Vegas. I can take one look at the deck, tell your card was the two of clubs, right? No. Two of spades? No. Do you remember the card? <laughs> <laughs> Very good. <laughs> well, here's one that's, uh, this might be more interesting than cards, actually. This is a guessing game with a ball and a cup. Now, no trap doors here or anything. Ball and a cup, and you can even put your hand in there and make sure there's nothing in the cup. Nope, nothing, nothing in the in cup, it. nothing in my hands. I'll put the little ball in the cup. I'll shake it up. Now, would you say the ball is in the cup or in my pocket? Where would you guess? In the cup. I always let you win the first time. Okay. Now I'll try to fool you. Now I'll try to fool you. In the cup or in the pocket? Pocket. You should have picked the cup, <laughs> but I'll, I'll give you another chance. In the cup or in the pocket? Uh, pocket. Well, I could say it's not in the in the cup. It's oh. in the pocket. If I want to be nice, but actually, it's not in the pocket. It's in the it's in the cup. Oh. <laughs> See, I'll I'll explain how this works. See, when I take this ball, put it in my pocket, I cheat. I already have one under here. That's what confuses everybody. <laughs> you didn't notice that in there when you put your did hand not. In. No, nope. you probably didn't notice this. I did not. I do that again, but I can't get them back in there. You should work for the tin caps. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this is Steve, and I'm here with uh, Dick Stoner, who has the Dick Stoner's Magic fun Store downtown, the fun store, and you're celebrating an anniversary. 60th, 60th year. Here. 60th year here. In so, 1949. Okay. And uh, what, what inspired you to open a magic store downtown? Well, I was a youngster. I, my, my father did magic as a hobby, and I got interested in doing magic. And when I was in high school, and right after getting out of high school, I was doing a lot of shows. And, almost enough to make a living, not quite. And so my father said, well, if this is what you want to do, maybe we should open a magic shop. So we bought a magic shop that was in Indianapolis that had belonged to a company called Abbott's Magic, and we brought it to Fort Wayne. And uh, we would, I would work in the store, and when I had a show, if I had to leave town, my mother would watch the store. And uh, later I soon realized that just magic alone wasn't enough to make much money in, in a city the size of Fort Wayne. So we added uh, practical jokes, you know, the joy buzzer and the dog and all the other joke things. And uh, then uh, along came uh, masks and we added that and then theatrical supplies. And later we bought a costume rental inventory and just expanded on that. So now it's a costume business, a theatrical business, a joke and funny gag gift business and, and magic too. Mm -hmm. And you've been in 60 years in this location? This location. We were in, there's three rooms here that are tied together. We were in the room where the costumes are, uh, and uh, it was 712 South Harrison, then the building the south, of, uh, south of that was the uh, uh, was an appliance store where he did repairs on appliances, and then this building right here was uh, Louis Chop Suey. Uh, hmm. And uh, we bought the buildings, and when we bought the buildings, we expanded, tied them together and expanded into the, all three of them. Mm -hmm. Today there's there's you know Xboxes and computers and internet and everything like that. Is there still an appeal with magic? Oh yes, yeah, there is certainly. Uh, actually, there's uh, uh, we sell a lot of magic on our website uh, as well as jokes and other things. Uh, the the downside from the standpoint of magic is that the young people today are seeing some things on TV that sometimes are edited and. Uh, that you really can't perform in a real-world situation. I mean, uh, they can take some liberties. That, you know, it's not a matter of trick photography, it's just a matter of editing. And uh, so they, the young people today kind of miss the point of putting an act together and really building a, a show. Uh, they, they're intrigued by tricks, they want to buy tricks, but they just uh, seem to just want to know the secret and know how to do the trick and not as interested in, in building an act as that. There's some, some youngsters are. There's a young lady, Mary E.B., that's... Uh, She's about 11 years old, I think, and she's just uh, been doing great things, magic, and uh, also doing ventriloquism. So there are some youngsters coming along there. 
And, and and you're much more than a than a fun store. You've had a career. Oh, yeah, you've performed I do shows all over. I work mm -hmm. uh, work uh, all kinds of uh, industrial trade shows where I build traffic and magic and talk about their products and services. The National Association of Broadcasters I just did in April in Las Vegas. I've done that for 42 years for the same company. Uh, uh, supposedly going out there next year again to do it, and I do a number of trade shows like that, and then I do. Have speakers bureaus that book me on uh, on shows around the country, as, as well as in the area. I do. Uh, I probably haven't done it for a while. I haven't done a mailing for a while, but I'm going to do probably another mailing and uh, start doing more in the local area here again. Mm -hmm. So, 60 years in downtown, you've seen a lot of changes in downtown. Yeah. Uh, used to be the hub of everything. Used to be the hub of everything. <laughs> it's right. kind of starting to slowly make a comeback. Well, I'm hoping it does. Mm -hmm. Are does. you Are you pretty pleased with the direction it seems to be headed? Yeah. I the the. I mean, I think the tin caps are bringing a lot of attention to downtown and people coming down. I think the, the one-way streets kind of hurt the circulation downtown and people that don't usually travel down here get frustrated by that. And uh, But if they get used to it coming down to the tin, tin caps, that'll make it a little easier and more comfortable for them to come down. Mm -hmm. Got to ask, what's your favorite item in the store? <laughs> <laughs> well, one of the... One of the magic tricks is uh, the one I did with the ball and the cup is one of my favorites, and the the other one with the glasses is uh, is one that I uh, produced and market uh, and sell to other uh, distributors to sell all over all around the world. Uh, those are magic tricks, and then uh, the uh, we have the remote control whoopee cushion. That's probably the biggest <laughs> item in our in our joke items. It's, it it makes me laugh, and I don't even <laughs> see it. Yeah. <laughs> It's a remote. I was doing doing a show in Vegas, and I had some of those with me. To, and I wanted to show them to a couple of guys I was working for there, and uh, an elevator. And the gentleman, the maintenance guy, I'd gotten to know, uh, was uh, in the elevator. Had a ceiling tile out, so I had him put one of these units in the ceiling tile, and I'd have the remote. And every morning we'd wait for that elevator, and the doors would open, be a dozen people in there, and I'd hit the remote, and they'd hear the sound, and everybody'd look at each other, and say, "We'll get the next car." <laughs> and it's it's just a riot. It's so so much fun. <laughs> okay, well, thank you and congratulations on your anniversary. You're we're we're glad you. to have you downtown. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm.